My great granddad um, had heard about the water situation and how much shallower water was here in northeast Mexico. Came up in um, the 30s, um, bought a, another piece of property that's further to the east here. In the early 40s then, the Martinez family put this place up for sale, then moved and settled in here. I would be fourth generation. My three boys then would be fifth generation here. Been here many years. Every morning that I woke up, looked out the bedroom window, and there was this beautiful volcano. Took it for granted for so many years until, of course, I went off to college. I started out with a pre-law degree. After that first semester um, at school, I realized I could not wait to get back home fast enough and switched to ag business and came back to the family ranch. I always knew when I was getting close to home because it um, would hit Clayton, New Mexico, and you could just start seeing the outline of the volcano. My parents were still living right here next to the volcano, so I lived in another ranch house that we've got that's um, further to the east. It's only probably 10 miles difference as the crow flies. The grass situation, the weather situation, the rain situation is amazing how much difference there is. So it was a little bit of a learning curve, you know, realizing you're only 10 miles difference in location, but what you see differences in grass types, how fast they green up, things like that, is, was a really learning experience for me. My dad, I always felt like was local historian. Every time we'd go out to check cows, my dad would always stop at the restaurant to drink coffee and tea with all the local guys. The history that those guys talked about um, was always invaluable. Being able to hear those stories, you know, being able to see some of the wagon trails, you know, that run through our place. There's no telling how many thousands of wagons could have gone back and forth over that. We have a portion of the um, Santa Fe Trail, which they refer to as the Fort Union Cutoff. Part of that trail then actually became some of the first um, roads in between Capulin, Des Moines, and Folsom. Back in the early days before the roads were developed, um, the first roads initially all met in the center. So the first Catholic church in this area is actually on our property up next to the Fort Union cutoff. The preacher came out from Springer and it took him a day and a half to come out with um, wagon. You know, somebody was willing to travel a day and a half to give church services, you know, the first in the area. And, um, you know, people that were, you know, just trying to go out and make a living and were willing to go out um, and travel for three, four months at a time, which, you know, we could travel in two or three days now in a modern day vehicle. Sometimes um, boggles my mind. 